Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want to unlock the foundation skin early. The new Fortnite Chapter 3 Tilted Towers update is here and it has so many new Easter eggs you guys have no idea about. And I'm going to be going over all of them in today's video. And some of these Easter eggs are super, super crazy. So make sure you guys are watching the whole way through. But 90% of you are missing out on a free daily gift from me as you guys have still not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you guys are hitting that big red subscribe button down below as I also give five of my most loyal subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video turn on all notifications and leave a comment with the epic id down below and remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself please do consider using my support credit code apple one it literally takes one second to put into the item shop and it is the best way to support me that extra mile hopefully you guys do going to enjoy the video though but let's get into it so for our very first easter egg is now you can actually stack mythic weapons. Before you couldn't stack these mythic weapons, but now you can actually stack the Spider-Man mythics and just have five in your inventory at once. I think this is pretty cool because before you couldn't actually do this, it just decreased the amount of webs you had, which I thought was pretty cool, but now you can actually stack mythic weapons. We then have the brand new Clombo dinosaur. Yes, the dinosaur is finally in game, bro, and he's huge. I'm not gonna lie, he's absolutely massive, but you guys can actually ride him. You guys just walk up the back end of his tail and you can go onto his back but if you guys actually do go over to his head area there is like a sneezing hole and he'll sneeze out of that and he'll shoot you straight up into the air very very good rotation because you can also deploy your glider from this so say if you're getting stuck in zone run up the back of this dinosaur go in his sneezing hole and he'll shoot you in the air but you guys can actually feed him which i thought was really cool with a brand new consumable called the clomberry this spawns in butter cake bushes and has a 30 percent chance of spawning and you can actually stack these in a stack of 50 which I think is really really cool and the way he consumes these is he just sucks them in I don't know why we have to feed him but you can feed him but you can also suck in items and then he'll sneeze them to drop them so he'll suck in like some legendary items and rare items and then you'll see him sneeze and they'll shoot out the top of his head and just land down it's a really really cool thing I really love how this brand new dinosaur is in game and has so many features I like the rotation part out of him it's really really cool but if you guys actually do shoot him he does get very very angry and runs at you pretty quickly. I'm not gonna lie, he's very very dangerous when you do shoot him, so if you accidentally shoot him, I'd run away pretty fast. For our next Easter egg is a brand new machine pistol and pizza party consumable. These have been in the files and they were actually in creative, but now they have been disabled. And this machine pistol is supposed to release absolutely years ago, but it looks like it's finally coming out now and it looks very very OP, I'm not gonna lie. And this pizza party consumable is apparently the most broken health consumable that's ever been inside of Fortnite. It looks stupid ridiculously good and this will be coming out within the next few weeks possibly coming in next week's hot fix we could be seeing one of these come out it'll most likely be the pizza party consumable if that does come out we then have the grenade launcher has been unvolted today but it has come with a slight change where it now does explode right after the first bounce you shoot it and it used to just bounce 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 and explode but now after the first bounce it does actually explode which is actually pretty overpowered i'm not gonna lie because you guys can ricochet it off a wall into someone's box and you can hit them crack the shield and you can just spray the wall down and probably kill them but we then also have new nerfs and buffs for some guns in game starting off with the mark 7 assault rifle it has got a nerf again earlier this week it did decrease the damage it does do and now it does decrease the build damage it does do and the ranger assault rifle has actually had a buff with its build damage so it does more build damage now and it is way more accurate than it actually was because before it was awful but now they've actually changed the accuracy on it we then have a brand new tactical sprint feature that will make your camera shake just like when you slide and you'll be able to run much faster with this this will be coming into the game i'm guessing very very soon because they've added the features in the game files and this thing is actually going to be really really cool we then have a brand new drill site scanner and the drills have actually had an update with a scanner on top of them if you guys do go to any of the drill sites the third one should be popping up very soon if you guys do go to one of the drill sites you guys can see a brand new machine and if you guys do activate it and do the scan you guys can see it scans everything in a very very large radius which is very very cool and it does have a cooldown but it does stay there for a very very long time i think it's very very cool because these are going to be scattered all around the map when all five drills come to the game we then have the brand new summer smash returning summer smash will be returning this summer as it is now in the game files and i couldn't be more excited bro these tournaments were the 
best things ever. So let me guys know if you guys are excited for Summer Smash. All the comp players are going to be sweating out for this now. We then have a free OG music pack when you do log in today. Obviously, Tilted Towers has come, which means we'll be getting a free reward with a free OG music pack, which I think is a really, really nice touch that Fortnite have done because I actually didn't get the one inside the battle pass. So they've now given this to every single player for free, which I think is absolutely amazing. We then have a load of free edit styles, including the foundation second page of cosmetics looks to be the combat version. These actually do look really, really sick. Let me guys know in the comment section below if you guys actually do like these because they are super, super amazing. But you guys can also see the Scarlet Commander actually does have a tiger style and also the number one now has a blue version of the bat bling as well, which I think looks super, super dope. We then have the new POIs. Obviously, Tilted is the biggest POI in today's update, but they've also added a load more secret little POIs. The first one being a new seven outposts around the map, but there's actually one in the desert that actually has a secret cave below it, which is really, really good for loot. And you guys can actually go over to the right of Tilted Towers and see a new dig site where they are digging up the Catus monster from the Season 9 live event. I think it's very, very strange how this is in the exact same location as the Chapter 1 map. We do also have the Mecha Team Leader's arm on the island as well. But also in Tilted Towers, if you guys do remember, there is a secret chest location in Tilted and it's still there. It's actually still there. If you guys do go over to the bridge type of part, you guys can break some brick near a tree and you can fall into like this little underground bit and you guys can get a secret chest. I like how they've kept that in game. It's a really, really nice thing. But we'll also be seeing a brand new Tilted Towers lobby background come out within the next few hours. This will most likely be getting activated by the time you're watching this video, but we'll be seeing a brand new Tilted Towers lobby come out, which I think is really, really nice. And Fortnite are going to be releasing a brand new Fortnite media feature that will be getting added later this season. We don't exactly know what it does, but my guess is it's going to be really, really cool. We're going to be able to see other people's clips and things. It's kind of going to be like YouTube, but inside of Fortnite. We're not 100% sure what it's going to be actually consisting of, but my guess is it's going to be like a YouTube inside of Fortnite where you guys can see people's craziest clips and stuff. It's going to be really, really cool. We then have a brand new live event will be happening very soon. As there were picture files, four events added into the game files today with today's update. So it looks like we'll be seeing a pretty big live event come this season and we'll also be seeing one happening very, very soon. So make sure you guys are keeping close attention to the rocket pads because I'm guessing we'll be seeing a rocket live event come out, which I am very, very excited. We then have a brand new Cause collab coming in creative. It is now being decrypted. It is now in creative. You guys can go and check out the brand new Cause collab. I don't exactly know why they've done this again, but there are some pretty cool models inside the game files about Cause collab. So if you guys want to go check that out, head over to creative. It will be there right now. We then have a brand new Mary Jane NPC will be coming out at the Daily Bugle very soon, where she will sell future circles so you guys can see where the storm is going and bandages. Kind of a weak one, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know why she's not selling some Spider-Man weapons or whatever, but I mean, it's pretty cool. We're gonna be seeing a Mary Jane NPC, which means we're gonna be seeing also a brand new Mary Jane skin, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. We then have some new audio files from The Seven about how the Paradigm is now public enemy number one for The Seven. Hey, uh, Paradigm, uh, it will not surprise you to learn that you remain public enemy number one for the seven. I'm trying to convince them to welcome you back with open arms, but I can't promise that it'll be a cakewalk if you come back. I'll do what I can. And this time, I'll have your back no matter what, like I should have the first time. This is going to be very, very big in the live event like I've just talked about because I'm guessing the Paradigm has turned on the Seven for some bizarre reason. It's going to be really, really cool when she does come back into the island because we don't know where she is yet. She's not on the Chapter 3 island. My guess is she's deep in space somewhere and the Seven are looking for her because she is the public number one enemy, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And finally, we're going to be seeing a load of brand new POIs get implemented very, very soon as well, which some of them are already in game. As the Catus dig site is actually in game right now, but we're also going to be seeing the Desert Mansion, the Dirt Track, Fishy Island, Pirate Rowboat, Ranger Tower, Rusty Car Beach, Temple Stairs, and Tiny Timber Tent. These are going to be really, really cool POIs. I'm not 100% sure where they're going to be going, but my guess is scattered all around the map, mate. They're going to be insane. I'm very, very excited for these brand new POIs to come out. Let me guys know in the comment section below if you guys are actually enjoying today's update with the return of Tilted Towers. It is crazy. I'm not going to lie. You land there and the whole lobby lands there. 
My game actually crashed once. My game crashed. There was that much going on over at Tilted Towers. So means you guys are going to land there because it is the most crazy place on the Chapter 3 island. But remember, if you guys aren't around here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button as we are closing in on 500,000 subscribers. And if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code Apple1. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.